Today I'd like to talk to you about making a screw mount for the Firefly Q6. I have the Firefly 6S, 7S and I went and purchased the Q6. Why did I do that? Well, I wanted a camera that didn't have a wide angle setting all the time. It's fine when you video in tight spaces or on your quad or whatever. A lot of times you get excess distortion, you get excess view, what you don't want. You know, the ceiling, the floor and this and that. So I wanted a straight lens and this one is only around about the 90 degree angle. That was great. But the trouble with it was it has no mount. The 6S... 7S, they have a cover. I'm filming on the 7S at the moment. And they have clip-on covers and all that. No such accessories for this. How do you mount it? I originally got one of these, I think about five, ten bucks. Therefore, watching your smartphone videos, I think people get the sore arms hanging on. And that could mount on there. And I did actually use it, and you can hold it. But when you press the button, it bounces around. And you wait for it to stop, then you can film. It's okay. But then I thought, no, you want to be able to mount it. So with this video, I didn't know whether to put it on a CNC 4A, because that's where all the engineering design products come from, or Quad 4A, which is where the end user will probably use it the most. So I put it under Quad 4A, but look at the CNC 4A videos on the uh, Wizard YouTube channel, and you'll see how to make So. Basically, I think if we adapt it to, let's call it the Quad 4A standard or the CNC 4A standard, basically, as these photos will show, if you look at my 3D print 4A videos, you'll see embedded nuts. And basically, a lot of your plastic equipment has a brass thread inserted at the time of moulding, and that's to add strength. So I pulled it apart, as these photos show, just a matter of removing the two screws, gently prying them back, and the microphone or the speaker may stick to this bottom cover or it may come off. So you take that off. And I look for a suitable position to drill the mounting holes. And measuring it all up, from this face back, 15 millimeter and 20 millimeter across. You'll see where the lens mount is, it widens out, and that was just the gap. So as when you put the screws in, it doesn't hit anything. So you drill your holes in your plastic body, then you get a screw, M3 screw. I made this jig up, two reasons. One is it's got the tripod mounts, so Manfrotto and all the other types, they just fit in there and screw in. That just needs to be, say, minimum of 5mm. I had 10mm, so that works fine. So I can use it on any tripod, any quarter, 20 thread, no problems. You get your little brass insert, 3mm long. I machined mine up. If you look at the other video, like I mentioned, I brought 10 and cut them in half and I can face them up on the lathe. Made them three mil. Then you get your long M3 screw. I used a socketed cap screw and I screwed it in so as it would just protrude in there. So these holes in are then a guide because when you get something hot and you push in the plastic it will go in beautifully but you let go and will fall over. Them. So if you can eliminate any errors and that's the standard if you make that 20 millimeter all you guys who want to make 3D printed holders and all that make for 20 mil and then we've got a standard. So you just push it in that it cool down and then you're done. Another problem with the design, for some reason it's reasonably flat on the top, which you don't mount, and on the bottom they put the lug. They could have shifted everything up two mil, so I have to cut the recess in there to make it fit. So it fits in, I can mount it to any adapter on any tripod, and if I want to mount it to any quads or hex, I just gotta drill two holes 20 mil apart. Fits perfect. So that's the CNC 4A quad 4A screw mount for the Firefly Q6. I highly recommend it because I invented it. Please use the standard. If you do modify yours, stick to the standard, then everyone's happy. Simple to do, couple of cents, and very, very versatile. So if you enjoyed this video, tell your friends, spread the word, and subscribe. If you haven't, tell me why not. And as always, thanks for watching.